time for an establishing. Oh, yep. Oh, hey. Those Ooh, protests. protests. <laughs> Whatever they're protesting, I support. Why is it? Oh, I got a text. This is what? The left. Hey, Nance. Deirdre gave me your number. Da 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 da. Sorry, but before I was stressed. Da 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 da. Yep, yep, yep. Don't worry about it. And thanks for getting in contact. Where can you find? Where can I find the museum? Oh, you're so welcome to come by. We're on the opposite side of the town square from the courthouse. Just turn right and go past the old cemetery. You can't miss it. Thanks. I'll stop by. Great. Yay. Wonderful. Dope. Okay. Bye. How do I leave the phone? Okay, cool. I want to talk to these protesters. Me too. I'm so curious. Are they by the courthouse? I don't know where. Oh. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. There's the establishing shot I wanted. Visitors, by now you know the story of the, the witches yeah. of Salem. Those yes, Olivia poor Ravencroft. souls were caught in a time of fear and greed, and they paid the price. They may like die, behind us. but witchcraft lives on in Salem. Look, there's Karl Marx. <laughs> oh, this should be interesting. <laughs> the world would have you believe witches were not real. I'm not talking about old, ugly women who curse their neighbors and fly on. Oh, I can't old, ugly women. All right, pack it up, spirit Halloween. Magician. <laughs> witches are real. <laughs> they have always been real. They are alive and well. They are powerful, carrying the secrets of the world beyond the one we see. Okay. Ritual, mystery, magic. Dope. Most exist now only in the audience that's sweet. <laughs> and they may be standing among you even now. It is said that in Salem, a coven of witches settled in recent years. Set on revenge for the deaths of the Salem witches. Their ritual, one midnight on Halloween, unleashed the angry spirits of the past. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, 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 I know where I've seen that before. Also, thank hey. you, Robin. I liked my joke too. Now, if any of you are interested in the real history of the witches of Salem, I provide self-guided tours through some of my favorite locations in town. How are you and providing a self-guided tour? We'll see one of the restless dead. Also, I love that she used the smoke bomb and then Same just stood there. Stage magic she's using. Thief? There was a thief? What were you doing there? Visiting a spooky old castle. You'd have liked it. Do you regularly fly to Europe for investigations? Sometimes. Jelly. And if you want to learn about being a witch, come forward. <laughs> Goes forward. <laughs> Nancy said yes. Well, you know. Huh. Hey. Huh. 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 Hey. Uh oh. Here comes trouble. All right. There's a candle Me? in the kitchen. Never. Well, nothing too bad, I hope. Did you know that in the Malleus Maleficarum, ginger hair was the sign of a witch? You're my kind of people. I'm not nearly as talented as you are. Aw, shucks. You're making me blush. Oh, there it is. Now I'm turning red. You truly are a witch. So to become a witch, do I need to take a test or get a diploma? <laughs> a true witch is not made with pieces of paper. She is born to it and will feel the call. Bureaucracy is for persecutors. We don't need permission. We don't live by the rules. <laughs> anyway, what can I help you with? Oh boy. <laughs> Let's ask her about the trick. How did Let's... you perform that trick? <laughs> A witch never reveals her secret. Girl. It's against the witch code. This is a fight club. I got bureaucracy and <laughs> Dear for persecutors. Yes, girl. Tell her, girl. Yeah, Although, sorry. if you take my self-guided tour, I promise you will learn at least one secret about being a witch. 
Just tell me now, dummy. It's really bothering me as like a That's copywriter. That's a self guided that tour. She gives a self like no that you're giving a tour. It's a self guided tour if I'm giving myself the tour. Maybe she gives you like a cassette player, <laughs> and she plays her. Uh, Maybe if that's not the case. Maybe she doesn't know what self means, and she thinks myself, myself mm. is giving you the tour. Right. How often do you do the show? How often? Most nights. It gets busier around Halloween, and I'm sure you can figure out why. <laughs> How about the night that the Hathorn House was burned? <clears throat> you look a little young to be working for the police, dear. Oh no, it's nothing like that. We're just curious tourists. Dear Dra. <laughs> Good. Because I've already spoken with them. And so you were here. I was out of town. Did you mm. girls know that Salem is haunted? Mm, change in subject. If you go on my tour, you'll learn where you can find it. Have you lived in Salem for long? Born and raised. So you know the Perrys? Of course. Not well. If you were looking for them, Tegan is at the museum. She works there. Not well. We're staying with Tegan. I figured there was some history between you two. That was a long time back. We don't talk much now. And May? Yes, I know her too. Not spoken to her for a long time either. Hmm. But I can't go over her rumors her. About her. May is a her trouble, arms just passed through her body. And sometimes <laughs> such girls get blamed for things that were not there. I don't think she burned down the Hathorn house if that's what you're trying to get at. People with mundane minds look for mundane explanations. Okay. Hit me with Olivia. Interesting angle. Do you really believe some modern witch coven unleashed ghosts on Salem? About eight years back, there were rumors of a coven that they performed a ritual to return the dead witches to Salem to seek out their revenge before the witches moved on. Is there any evidence of such a coven? Ever since then, ghost sightings have gone through the roof. Salem is now considered the most haunted place in the country. You think it's a coincidence that the former home of the Hathorns was set on fire? Hmm. How else could the fire have started? I heard there was not a single living soul in the house when it started burning. Keyword. Living. <laughs> the world is composed of two equal parts. Okay, Olivia. And light. I'm into it. The light we see every day. It's the mm -hmm. trees, the people, the yes. birds. Yes. It's our world. Yes, yes, yes. I, kinda, I like this writing, actually. You can even see it at night. The dark is the unknown. A plane of existence that vibrates just underneath the light. But if you were in a place like Salem, a place where a painful history permeates every surface, every crack, every brick, and every tomb, oh. the dark will appear, usually when you least expect it. Tell me about it, Olivia. I'm kind of digging this. She I was, at first I was like joking, and then I was like, okay, you know what? That got kind of cool. Say, Don't be out past midnight in Salem. There it is. Hey, so the thing. <laughs> Shlorp, me getting sucked also, into the dark. did you know that Salem has more ghost sightings than any other city in North America? I also don't I like, like how she slipped, why. kind of. Go on my tour. Go on my tour. Right, I, I liked that a lot, actually. Okay, no, I love this character. Also, I hate me that too, we're Tabitha. we're shouting up a stage at her. Yeah. <laughs> like, talk to you later. Okay, I'm good. I don't know about your headphones, but the dialogue is so quiet compared to the music. For me? Hmm. Okay, you know, we can turn down the music. So I'm going to look, it's like a real game. Yes, music volume. Down. Just a touch. Is that good? Yeah, I'm fine. Cool. I still want to hear it because like it's good music. Yeah, it's fun. It's a good little score. Alright. She I... gives me such like <laughs> What? I just everything that she did just now, I felt like I was uh like she was a DM. <laughs> 
And I was about fire to start a great. We all know certain renegades in this town know something or two about fire. You may Shut up. You don't think she'd do it again, do you? Mm -hmm. She was so young. Wouldn't surprise me. Creeping around back alleys with her hood head down. Where She's just goth. There's fire. Shut up. Y'all are mean. Well, with her history, she's bound to already be in the sights of the neighborhood watch. So we'll find out soon enough. My thoughts exactly. Also, it's very with the neighborhood watch sucks. Yeah, like, fuck y'all. It's some gentrified bullshit. But also, this is the kind of first game where we've gotten like overhear, <sighs> overhearing yeah. like other people's thoughts, which is interesting. Yeah, I can't can't hear their thoughts. <laughs> No thoughts, head empty. Yeah. All right. I want to talk to these protesters. I don't want to go to the museum. Fuck the museum. Museum. Oh, fuck. fuck the museum. The museum's stupid. Road's closed. Okay. The protesters. Nancy, turn. There we go. Nice. That group is really chanting up a storm. Hey. Them so angry. Hey, okay. does anybody want to uh, weigh in? You, this person standing here, maybe. Why are there protesters in a small town like this? Did she not get a pro mic? I was about to say, it just... <laughs> like she that sounded was... like she was coming in through like headphones, like an she iPhone. She was headphones. shouting across the room. Yeah, I mean, I guess we are standing kind of far from her. Why are there protesters in a small town like this? I like her accent. I was gonna say I liked that. This is City Hall, right? I mean, the old Salem yeah, courthouse. I mean courthouse. Yeah. The seat of justice. I feel like. It's not gonna be a great look if we just waltz in there past these protesters. Yeah, you don't cross the picket line. I mean, they're not picketing, but. <sighs> yeah. Hey the guys. are good. They're really making me feel like it's fall, even though it's nine degrees out here. And Deirdre, you have to stop fucking Ooh, scaring the piss out of me. Should we take the witch tour? Ice cream parlor. Can I can't we not? figure out how to fucking move. There we go. I wanted to look at this store because it looks cool. I love that little bird. It won't let me go over there though. I was just talking the other day um, about how I wanted to go to Salem so bad. Oh, Ooh. this looks cool. Darn. Missed the opening hours. Darn. Better luck tomorrow. No. I want to hear their people. Now this accused witches group shows up from out of nowhere and thinks they're entitled to the Hathorn property. Hmm. Mm. Didn't they find proof for their claim? It's only fair. How far back do these reparations have to go? It's been mm. hundreds of years. Nobody owes these loudmouth squat. That feels it's racially for charged. Attention and money. Must yeah. every response be outrage? I miss the peace and quiet. Okay. Privileged. Right, I was about to say, I don't like those townspeople. Alright, I kind of want to see, like, <laughs> everybody I can talk to. Yeah. Like, I'm having fun talking to people. No, me too. Let's, I want to hear all their thoughts. Me, when I can read minds. Hey, can you there's talk? Do you talk? Okay, there's the museum. Do you guys talk? Hey. Do you talk? No? Don't talk? Yeah. Nice. Fire at Hathorn House. We all know. So oh, same thing. Same thing. Same Make thing. Sure. Same thing. She was so young, it wouldn't surprise me. She's mm. already on the radar, and it's the same well, thing. My thought Neighborhood Watch. Works. Neighborhood Watch. Yep. Same thing. Hi, Deirdre. All right. What about these fellas? I mean, you're sitting alone, so I okay. He's not like honorable <laughs> because I'm rotating like crazy. Right. Yeah. No. Okay. Cool. 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 I do like that we can hear others' conversations. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think the stuff that they're adding is neat. Yeah. Let's visit the cemetery. I want a picture of Little Liberty. Let's go to the cemetery. Fuck the fucking mm -hmm. museum. It will be more useful to explore the graveyard with a tour guide. Okay, fair enough. Stupid. So we're gonna Nancy say that's the first tour. time you've been like, well, we should probably do oh, this. Let's go look in the hay. Salem Museum. <laughs> Prime address for local history and information on the infamous witch trials. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to think about all the locations. So we have our. What is this? This home. is not the museum. It's this locked. is something else. I don't know what it is. Oh, I didn't mean talking. Museum talk to you. is over there, across the square. We're literally standing That's in the doorway of it. That's where we get the real witches tour tickets. The judge's office is in that building. If we want to go see him first, 
dive into the case. I think we should head right for the judge. What do you think? I think we should go to the judge. Okay, so we're gonna go back Sounds and meet good. the judge. Because I also want to talk to the protesters. Like, yeah, can, can we? Yeah, yeah maybe. Go. I'm dying to know. I want to see what their signs say. I know. I heard them chanting. Chanting. I heard them. Shops aren't making a lot of chanting stuff right about now. justice. How do I go? Gosh. Okay. Some of the controls are clunky. Hungry. Right? I'm hungry too. <laughs> um, let's find a good stopping port. We've been streaming for like an hour and a half. Right. Well, we'll see the judge. And hey. I'm, okay. On the steps. On the steps of the palace. Um, false judgment, false claim. Also, it might just be the font, but that looks like the same handwriting as the uh, note. <laughs> it does. It might honestly. I don't know what they're doing. Okay. Was there another? Was there a third candle in the house, or was it just in the kitchen and Nancy's room? I think so. Um, I don't know where the fuck I am, and I, I know there's information, but I also want to go every which way. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, Alicia. Hi. Sorry to bother you, but we were looking for Judge Danforth's office. Just across the hall. Why? What did you two girls do? <laughs> we didn't do. I'm kidding. Alicia Cole, Esquire. <laughs> Me too, Deirdre. Defensive. Nice to meet you. I'm Nancy Drew, and this is Deirdre Shannon. You're a lawyer. Salem's best. The only practicing lawyer in the historic town limits, if you could believe it. And if you girls were in any trouble, I'd have no problem representing you. You both have that innocent look. <laughs> so you're saying we could get away with a crime? <laughs> of course you could, you're white no. women. <laughs> Partners in crime? Sorry to bother you, Miss Cole. We'll check in with the judge. Have a good evening. <laughs> Deirdre wants to be partners in crime, and Nancy, Nancy shot it all down. It's because Nancy sucks, man. <laughs> You? I'll come back later. I just wanted to see if we could say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you good? Let's look at her art. You got rocks. You got art. You got art. Oh, that's the wrong way. You got a window. She has a window. You got rocks. She has some planty art. She got rocks, yo. Oh. Ooh, jail. <laughs> what is that? Camera. Hi. We're gonna have to. Do We're gonna have to do some later. camera work. Hey, you can see the protesters out the window. That's a nice touch. That's cool. I mean, like, I feel like there's cool Look. things that they've added. Like, the world feels a lot more worldly mm -hmm. rather than just a collection of rooms. Right. So that's really cool. Hey, hey. Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> hey. He gets that a lot. <laughs> hey guys. Okay, so I guess what not are these stores? I mean, I know where it is. I'm just looking around because I'm annoyed. No, I, I love looking around. I say we talk to the judge and then we break for food and yes. we'll see if we can come back or if we'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. That sound good to y'all? You Drop really your become my enemy minutes. if I committed a crime? <gasps> Sorry. You shouldn't joke about me. Nancy, Nancy, you're so yeah. boring! You arrest me? No, but I'd call the police. <gasps> Nancy! Hey, yeah. cab, Nancy! I recommend you a decent lawyer because I'm an excellent witness for the prosecution. Nancy, wow. what the heck are you talking about? This is so embarrassing. Don't mess with me. What Nancy! <laughs> Nancy! Yeah, hello. Dialogue Ted? did not age well. Is that you? Ah, uh, yeah, this is Ted. Ted? Um, no, Your Honor. My name is Nancy Drew. I think you've spoken with my father. Nancy Drew? Deirdre reacted. Carson's daughter? Yes. And I'm with my friend Deirdre Shannon. <laughs> We're investigating the arson of the Hathorn House. Right, ah, since we have to finish yes, tonight. Yes. yes. Can we come in? Well, you see, no, I mean, I'd let you in, but I seem to have been locked in my office and I, uh, I need some help getting out. That's weird. Nancy's good at that. We're gonna get to pick a lock. No, we get to t we get to talk to him <laughs> through the door. Okay, said, between said, no. between the professor and this guy, I think they just didn't want to make that many character models. That's what I'm saying. I was like, they really just didn't want. They just didn't want to make them. He's like, I'm uh, locked in my office, and I'm just like, you're a fucking judge. I was hoping we could talk about the Hathorn House case. 
Yes, it's a terrible tragedy for our town, but let's table that discussion for later, okay? I'd like to get out of my office first. Okay, so no, I think we're supposed to- Yeah, we have to go find the key. All right. Do you know where I could find a key to your office? Puzzle, puzzle, yes, puzzle. I believe I gave a copy of the key to Alicia Cole as back. Hey, we just met Alicia. She's just down the hall. I hope she's still here. You don't have a phone? Just call her. Like, you know, like this is this is obviously <laughs> taking place the recently. The walls of his office are lined with like lead. Because he doesn't want fucking Superman to spy on him. Yeah. Yes. Can I help you? Please give he us a key. He said you might have a key. <laughs> Sorry, I gave him my spare. Huh, this guy's an idiot. Unbelievable. And he's a judge. Oh. Well then, do you have a paper clip? Yes, Nance. Yeah. And if you don't mind me asking, what business do you two have with the judge? We're buddies. My best yeah. friend. Helping the judge with a case. Anything I can assist you with? No, bye. Thanks. But I think we got it. No need for a lawyer. At least, not yet. <laughs> Once you get caught frickin' red-handed stealing evidence, Nancy, then maybe you can come up to Alicia. Paperclip time! Hang on, can I, like, study this paper? I can! <laughs> no, it's a really good paperclip! Alright, paperclip time. Equip it. And clip it. Judge Danforth? I couldn't find your key! What? Alicia said she'd keep a copy for me. Well... I did find a paper clip. Girl. I think I can pick your luck, if that's okay with you. Yeah, sure, fine. <laughs> Nancy. Yay! Oh, this is <laughs> too much of a challenge. This reminds me of Oblivion. This shouldn't be too much of a challenge. This is literally okay, just Okay, hold to drag pin, feel for the pin that gives resistance, release when the pin locks in place. Okay, we're looking for one that gives resistance. I mean, they're all resisting arrest. Oh, I have to like go up. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's so funny. Why is it like cl like clicking around? Like, I, yeah, and then drag. Yeah, it's not dragging. Release when the pin locks in place. Oh, you got it. Okay, come on, Nance. Okay. When is it going to lock in place? It's not locking in place. Well, I think it's not necessarily going to go in order, I don't think? Question mark? Well, the way a key works, it's not like a sequence know. puzzle. Okay, maybe you just do it till they stop going click, click, clicky. Click. No, I don't think this is it. You release it when it locks in place. So you might be pushing it too far. Can I try? Hang on, I'm, I'm getting a feel for it. <laughs> I can't believe they made a Nancy Drew port for Skyrim. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Robin, don't you? You picked a locker too in your days. In real life? I don't understand the like UI, like the information here, because it's like hold to drag pin and then feel for the pin that gives resistance. I don't know what that means, because they all feel the same, and once you get all the way up, they just drop. Oh wait, this is giving resistance. Yeah. Oh, did you hear Did you hear that? Yeah. I think so I need to like get it to locked lock it in, in spot. In place. Yeah. <laughs> Robin said, okay, so, confession time. Ah! Yeah, okay, see, it's not that time. Go. Okay, there we go, there we you go, there it. we go. So now we gotta find oh, another one. Robin. Hush, we got it. Gosh. Don't you worry. I love you though. Thank you for the support. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, so, okay, like, okay. so I have thing. to like do it right. <laughs> oh, Rob oh, okay. <laughs> I love you. We got it, Robbie. Thank you though. Yeah. This is what it's for. This is what the chat is for to help us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go. I'm like running out of screen space. Not that one. Is this how you pick real locks? Um. Just twiddle with the knobs and I, This is the second independent video game to tell me so. So I'm gonna say yeah. No, the chat is for clever comments. 
still got it. Girl. Efficient. How'd you learn to do Oblivion. that, actually? By breaking the law. Online video tutorial. She just told her that okay, if she broke the law, she would kill her. secret life of breaking and entering, Drew. Online so video. you're in danger of being cool. <laughs> Honestly, I just don't like. <laughs> mm. I like Deirdre. Deirdre's funny. Nancy sucks. Deirdre rocks. <laughs> Deirdre writes. Nancy's a fucking cop apologist. She is. It's embarrassing. Dude, for Quinn to <laughs> hella man. fucking boring. Oh my god, Mitt he, Romney, like, I his, love your work. <laughs> his slouch. I think he's the arsonist. I almost said murderer. Ah, those protesters are up there again. Stirring the pot. They sure know how to write a white you person. Know, this <laughs> town used to be a quiet place. See? It seems lately there's been an element that has infiltrated our community. I have no doubt one of those troublemakers locked my door and threw away the key. That was me. Mm -hmm. Now, Nancy, your father and I have discussed. <laughs> That's not Nancy. Oh, sorry. I'm not Nancy. Of course you're not. You look nothing like Carson. Did your father ever tell you about the time we won fourth place at the Lake Winnipesaukee Regatta? <laughs> you no. see, at the time I, I don't had care. 10 vision, so I was the navigator and Judge, this is Deirdre Shannon. She's working with me on the case. Deirdre, you're the one who tried to break down my door. <laughs> break down? Your honor, that's an exaggeration. I was knocking. I love her. Heavily. Look, I'm really busy dealing with this Hathorne house business. Uh, being a judge is not as simple as, uh, you know, investigating during your free time. Rudeness. Well, we just used our free time to unlock your door. So I'm sure you'll be willing to repay us with some answers to our questions. Tell him, Deirdre. Right? <clears throat> yes, of course. What can I help you girls? Locked in your office ass, motherfucker. Uh, yeah, let's just can ask you all. explain to us how you're involved with the Hathorne house? Well, yes. The house was built by Judge John Hathorne during the 1600s, and it represented the oldest surviving structure from that era. Judge Hathorne, of course, was one of the three judges that presided over the Salem Witch Trials. Yes, and I'm sure we can read all about the home's history in Salem's museum. More recently, Francis Tuttle, Judge Hathorne's last direct descendant, lived in a small section of the house while the rest was left to fall into considerable disrepair. Hmm. She was alone, except for a part-time caregiver, Lauren Holt, who had a bedroom in the carriage house. I love a caregiver. <clears throat> a few months ago, Francis Tuttle passed away, which left Hathorne House without a legal heir. According to the historical statutes of Salem, after 90 days, the house reverts to public property. Mm. A deadline, mm. which is two days from now, at midnight. Ah, oh, midnight Salem. Mm. I'm liking this. Yeah. I was told that the burning of Hathorne House is suspected to be a case of arson. How did the police come to that conclusion? The investigation found paint solvent residue on burnt embers, suggesting someone deliberately used an accelerant. Thankfully, Mrs. Tuttle never had to see what became of her home. Okay. And what evidence do you have that May Perry is the one responsible for this? Evidence? Have you ever heard of recidivism? Three nope. out of four criminals in the United States are repeat offenders. <laughs> And there's only one person in all of Salem who has a history of fire-related crime. He sounds well, like he sucks at his job. No yeah. Not yet. But, so there is no evidence. He'll be. Okay. Faking evidence. evidence. She's already been convicted in the court of public opinion. Oh. Is okay. that what she said? No. I'm saying it. She has a history with this sort of thing. She has one event. What's May's motive? What does she gain by burning down the Hathorne house? You'd have to ask her. And while you're at it, you, you can ask about her alibi, which she refused to give to the police. So, any other questions? I have many. 
Yeah, like, why are you such a bitch? So the Book of Apologies. And you a candle. Why did you really need it? <clears throat> yes, and first of all, I'm so glad you're all right. <laughs> Had I known you were going to be put in harm's way, I would have never called Carson and asked for his help. I've done plenty of work for my father. And trust me, I can handle myself. Yes, I'm sure you can. Okay. Weird so intonation. I've already heard some stories, but would you mind giving me your version of why the book is important? Yes. So, Judge Sewell was rumored to keep a ledger of all the accused, intending to publish it to reconcile with their families and clear their names. But he passed away before he could do so. Yeah. Going to Austria for a rumored book seems like a heck of a long shot. <laughs> well, mm, nice I click through, sorry. some pressure from the AW group. AW as in accused, accused witches. witches. I like it. I want it on a jacket. Hmm. Don't you think it's dangerous throwing around May's name as a suspect before any evidence links her to the crime? Uh, what do you mean? What are you saying? From what you've <laughs> described, there is no evidence against May. Yet you were saying that she did it. I just... As a judge, I think you would be the first to admit that sounds prejudicial. Tell him, man. not just me, Miss Drew. There are plenty of people who believe that okay. May is responsible for this crime. And? It's okay, like, and? When she is the only likely suspect. No, she's not. There's no evidence. Like, a lot of people think the Earth is flat, too. Is the definition of <laughs> okay, Nancy. I'm not going to have this debate with you. <laughs> yeah, how'd that old bitch die? So, how did Francis Tuttle pass away, exactly? The woman was 88 years old. Okay. The coroner confirmed her death was of natural causes. Why do you sound so mad? Right. So he's they old. never investigated Lauren Holt. Oh, the caretaker. Mm. You need the suspicion of foul play to investigate someone, young lady. So why are you... We'd like to speak with her all the same. She still lives on the estate, although for how much longer we do not know. Two days. We'll find her in her shop, Luminous Infusions. She might be... Oh, that's that place. To you. Okay. Peace what? out, dude. Talk to you later. Miss True, before you go, oh. there is something else I need your help with. You're not locked out of your car, are you? <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> there was a... There was an incident here recently. Someone mm. broke into the evidence room. Mm. Oh. Have you called the police? Well... No, um. not yet. I don't think anything was taken. Never mind. I'll, I'll call the police. Thank you for your time. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Cliffhanger. Miss, Mr. Try to talk to him again. Talk to him again. You're going to be like, sorry. Can I help you, girls? No, no. I'll talk to you later. I know. So then somebody broke into the evidence room. The cameras. We're going to use the cameras for sure. Yes. He said, but he's like, actually, I don't think anything was taken. Uh, and he's like, uh, I didn't call the police. Now that you mention it, I'll call the police. Like, why would That's you so not have weird. called them in the first place? Like, right. That is a face. It's a creepy face. It's a weird, stupid office. Creepy face. I don't like his office. It's All right. Creepy. All right. You want to save up and go eat some dinner and then yes. regroup? Yes, we will. Okay. Peace okay, out. Chat. Thank what you for joining think? us. The only people left are Robin and Tabitha. Tabitha yeah. <laughs> We'll text you guys <laughs> <laughs> about what we decide to do. Yeah. Thank you, Robin. Eating losers. We're not going to eat people. <laughs> Use a comma, idiot. Idiot. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye.